Hello and welcome to Art with Tracy Ann. That was just a little teaser to show you what we'll be making today. It's almost Valentine's Day. Lots of hearts are going to be involved, so stick around. For this project, I used a light card. If you use paper, it's a little bit too soft and not stable enough when you draw on it. This card is A4 in size. Measure along the bottom of the card at 4.5 centimetres. That last little bit will be shorter, but that's fine. Do the same along the top. Now take your ruler and scissors and join those dots by scoring along that line. By scoring, we get a much neater fold. Measure 4.5 centimetres twice from the bottom and again from the opposite side. and join the top measurements. From that top line, measure 2.2 centimetres. Do this on every second fold. Continue that last line right to the edge of the paper. Measure the distance between the two lines and make the same measurement at the bottom of the page. Now we'll trim off that bottom corner and cut along the top zigzag that we just made. Score a line between the bottom of the zigzag to that 4.5 mark that we made earlier. Again, from the bottom of the next zigzag to the corner of the paper. Each line should be parallel. Don't forget that we had that extra bit at the end. So we need to make another point, 4.5 centimetres, on that crease. And we'll do our last score line up to that point. Continue scoring right to the edge of the paper. Do the same thing, making opposite diagonal lines, scoring again with our scissors. And we'll just snip that 
little triangle out. Now we need to add some glue. Make sure it's a strong, fast drying glue. I'm using a craft glue. Um, PVA glue might be too slow drying and make your paper a little bit soggy. A hot glue gun would work. Make sure that it, all the edges are matching nice and neatly and clean off any excess glue. Finally join the ends, add some glue. And now we're ready to decorate. The first tangle I've chosen to do is Heart Flower by 10-year-old Jenny Lou. It's a nice, simple, but pretty tangle. I'm making some shorter than others. I found this pattern on tanglepatterns.com. It's a great source if you're ever looking for different tangles. I'll leave a link to this website below this video. Now I'll draw some on the opposite side. Before we start tangling on this side, I'm just going to put a light pencil line dividing each triangular shape, just as a guide. I'm now using a Micron 01 and I'll draw a mooka bringing it up to that pencil line. And the same on the other side so that they just touch and create a heart shape. I'll fill this heart by the Tangle Elegant by Tangle Dream.
I'll fill in the background using tipple. And there it is finished. For this next design, I'm just going to pencil in a border about a centimetre from the edge. Do an upside down heart next to it and alternate directions of the hearts. Again, I'm going to pencil a dividing line in each triangle. Then draw a heart in each of the joins, making sure that each of the hearts doesn't go past that center pencil line. By keeping my hearts within that pencil line, it ensures that I've got enough space to do another heart in between. Now I'm going to stripe every second heart. I'll now make more hearts out of mukas, each of them coming from the center part of the heart below it. Fill in each of these hearts with tipple. Now I'm going to stripe every second heart around the border. I'm going to colour in the spaces between the tipple on each heart. For this next design, I'm going to draw hearts with an echo and have them coming randomly like a vine up each of the creases.
In the background, I'm going to add the tangle sand swirl. This is one of my favorite patterns for tangling backgrounds. Again, you can find this on tanglepatterns.com. I'm going to colour the centre of these hearts in red. It's a Micron PN that I'm using. I've added a bit of red to each of the patterns. Now if you like you can add a little bit of shading. I'm finding that this paper is actually quite glossy and the shading isn't very effective. This is my finished flexagon. Of course you could colour it however you like. And if you turn the flexagon over, you get a completely different look almost like a kaleidoscope. I had fun making that. I hope you did too. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss out on next week's video. So until then, bye for now. If you'd like to see more of my videos, click on the links on the screen, and don't forget, hit the subscribe button.